Breaking news from Atlantic Canada. Former Conservative MP Elsie Wayne has died at the age of 84. CTV Steve Murphy has covered Elsie Wayne for 40 years. He's joining us this morning from Halifax. Steve, good to see you. Good morning, Marcia. Under sad circumstances, tell us about uh, your time covering Elsie Wayne and her contribution to public service. I'd be very pleased to tell you about Elsie Wayne. You know, here on the East Coast, we used to say Elsie was a bit like Cher. You know, she only really had one name. If you heard Elsie, you knew the people were speaking of, of Elsie Wayne, Elsie Fairweather, born in St. John, New Brunswick. And I have to tell you that I first became aware of Elsie when she was a regular participant on a radio talk show in St. John in the mid-1970s called Talk of the Town. And let me say, Marcia, that Elsie was herself the talk of the town. She was a homeowner in a St. John community called Glen Falls, and it was flooding there all the time had been built in a floodplain and Elsie was one of those people who demanded the city take action. She got under city council's skin and they finally did take action. She ran herself for a seat on common council and was elected 39 years ago, 1977, the beginning of an amazing political career that ultimately saw her as interim leader of the Progressive Conservative Party with stops along the way as a councillor, mayor and MP. There was only one Elsie. She was an original. And at a time when we didn't see a lot of women hold public office. Very true. First woman in the history of the city of St. John. And incidentally, Marcia, the first person to be re-elected mayor in the long history of St. John, which dates back to the mid-1700s. Elsie was the first person to be re-elected as mayor. And she was uh, re-elected several times before deciding to run for the Progressive Conservatives in 1993. Mm -hmm. She was elected then along with Jean Charest, yeah. and you will recall they were the only two Progressive Conservatives elected in that election. So she was a trailblazer. And she was instrumental in the merger of the Canadian Alliance and the PC party. That's right. She was a very practical politician. I think she reluctantly saw the need to merge those two parties. She was a social conservative and she was well known for opposing same-sex marriage and opposing abortion. She took a number of socially conservative positions. So she may have been somewhat comfortable with the idea of a merged conservative party, but she was a very practical politician who believed in the need to perpetuate the party, and she did support it. What was she like to deal with, Steve? Well, I'll tell you, I, uh, I, I've known Elsie, certainly even before my career in journalism, I, I knew Elsie as, as a child growing up in St. John, and Elsie was the very definition of feisty. Uh, Elsie knew what she thought, she said what she thought, and she didn't always mind if people agreed with her. She stood up for what she believed in. She certainly had a great love of family, a great love of her city, which she called the greatest little city in the East. And she also was a very, very proud Canadian, a strong monarchist. With Elsie Wayne, you always knew what she thought in no uncertain terms. Steve Murphy, thanks for your thoughts. Appreciate it. Thanks, Marcia.